Hi there guys and welcome to um, quite a different video from me. Um, I'm actually at Jimi Hendrix's uh, flat in London. Um, I've come here for the night, uh, come after hours because my brother is uh, doing some kind of like music uh, of his own and um, has been invited to, to uh, his flat by the, the museum people here. And um, yeah, just getting a chance really to play in, in his own pad really. And I've come along as well to help out with filming and I thought I'd just do some filming myself and do a little vlog of what it's like to be here at Jimi Hendrix's flat. Um, it's, it's quite strange because I'm not exactly a music person myself but um, I think you've just got to kind of appreciate kind of how much of a legend he was and uh, standing in his flat is just, it's just bizarre. You just, you just, you always feel kind of like a, a weird kind of atmosphere in, in kind of uh, people that that you know, hear no more and standing in their surroundings of, of where they would have been. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a weird feeling. So let's go and see what it's like. There's Jimmy, there's Jimmy behind me. Yeah. So this is what the museum looks like. You go and pass some pictures and some information of uh, who's supporting it here and some dates. I think if you're a Jimmy fan, this is just a really cool place to be. There's lots of memorabilia and factual information and some old clips and archives of him playing. It's quite a famous video of him just jamming away with some girls in his pad. And then this here, I believe, is where he uh, smashed his guitar. And this is one of the bits that were picked up. There you go, a fragment of the of his Fender Stratocaster as he smashed it at the Royal Albert Hall in 1969. It's weird to think that back in the days when he was renting here, that it was just £30 a week. That is just ridiculous compared to today's society of living in London. Quite a bit of a difference. So apparently this is the original staircase of, um, of what it was like back in those days. They haven't really touched it, it's exactly the same as that. I'm going to come up the stairs here. Hitting in there, that is his bedroom. My brother's playing in there at the moment, but I'll be there in a second. There we go, here's another part of the original stairs. Going upstairs is, um, leads up to the fitted uh, pink kitchen, um, but obviously there's no access up to that anymore. This is his second room that he had. He used it for keeping his guitars in and also any people, any friends of his that crash over and stay in here. So it's obviously been converted now into his pictures and albums and all kind of factual information. It's just quite weird to know that <laughs> who knows what could have happened here where people sleeping here, people were having weird sexual intercourses, but uh, yeah. It was overlooked in a kind of like a bar and restaurant area. That's all in down there. Right, I believe my brother has finished filming now and let's go into the flat itself. <laughs> There he is. Have you finished? Yeah. This is it. This is apparently his. It's not the exact. It's not exactly how it was. Well, it's not the exact props, but they re replicated it to how it was. Yeah, well, yeah. Apart from one, the mirror is that was here for Jimmy. That's Jimmy's mirror. Yes. This is Jimmy's mirror. Hey Jimmy. Mm. So weird. This is the only thing that was real back in those days, but everything else... The only thing that was real back in those days? You know what I mean. <laughs> it's the... It's the... It's the... It's the... It's the... The only thing that was real back in those days, everything else was an illusion. It's everything. too much illusion! <laughs> <laughs> everything... No, this is the... Is Jimmy's, yeah. and everything else... Is uh, a reproduction. Re yeah, that's, that's... You know what I'm trying to get. You know what I'm trying to get. But yeah, this is his bed. All the little fine, like the, the lyrics, what he's doing, all the little fine details like that. Yeah. I don't know what song that is, but... Mm -hmm. 
Hello my brother, hope you're doing well as always. We are back. Now we're doing a little bluesy thing in Jimmy. That, that in Jimmy? Sense. In Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now we've been joined by my brother and he's like a vlog in a vlog. It's an inception. What's going on? It's an inception. Behind my mask, behind my ways, behind the complications that seem to come my way. Is my soul laid bare for you? Every time I watch be life feels so down and blue so again I feel the devil's on my side And where you're sitting that's where I've seen the video of Jimmy like in that position doing hound dog You ain't nothing but a But he's a client Um, it's only obviously small because it's just a room that we're showing. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. It's, it's such a weird feeling. I've just been talking to the guys that run the place and um, learning of all the different jazz musicians and, and other, other, not just jazz musicians, any kind of musicians that Jimmy knew. And they all you know, came here and jammed with him back in the day. And uh, knowing that I'm in the same room as where he was, it's just uh, yeah, a really weird feeling to be. But yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm going to pack up the stuff now, I just need to leave. Oh, one more thing, uh, if, you know, if you're a musician you want to come to the place, um, I found out that it only opened last year. Last year as in 2016 I believe, because we're in 2017 now obviously. So yeah, it's a really new place, um, I'd say come on down if you're a musician or if you're not, uh, just to kind of be in the same kind of place where a legendary musician was, it's just a um, yeah, pretty amazing feeling. But yeah, I hope you liked the little tour and um, yeah, come and see it for yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!